Yo, 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 what up? It's Friday, bitches. You know what time it is. TJ Fridays with Tay Moses. We got OT with us here today. He's gonna get down with us. He's a producer, beat maker. He's from the inner west, mainline. ML, for them crap heads out there, you know what that means. What up? So yeah, let's get to it. Let's go do it. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. TJ Fridays with Tay Moses. We got OT with us. What up? We're in the Stiz Miz, the inner west, mainline. We've rocked down here to come give the guy a visit. We're at his pad, we're at his domain, where he does move, where he's creative. Oh, man. But yeah, let's get down on it. Why do you even do music, bro? Why did you even start? Did someone get you into it? Man, it's more or less just listening to rap, listening to hip hop, people showing me songs. And just delving into it, sitting there thinking like, how, how is this even made? Hearing the instruments, mainly the instruments behind it, the sounds, the effects, the crazy, just the crazy angles of sound. It's just, it inspired me and took me by, you know, like hostage, took a stranglehold of my mind. And I just started looking into it. At first I thought maybe it's a band. But once I actually realized the main source of this is sampling, taking, you know, sounds oh, from vinyl, taking it straight into a sampler or a drum machine, an MPC whatever your, um, you know, your weapon of choice is, manipulating it, chopping up, and really just taking it from a different approach and making it your own. Yeah, my man, yeah. my man. What about influences? Got any influences or like, you got a certain sound? A certain sound, I started with, well, my first major influence in actually making beats would have been Triple Six Mafia. Yeah. That's before I even knew how to make beats. But I've always loved New York. I've always loved the East Coast shit, always loved West Coast shit, but I've always been a sucker for boom bap, hard snares, hard kicks, all the good shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's where I took my main influence from. My main influence was would start from, of course, DJ Premier, Pete Rock, yeah, yeah. The Alchemist, Havoc or Mob Deep, ah, man, Showbiz of DITC, Ninth Wonder, of course, he's from, you know, not from New York, but still got that sound. Yeah, to me, so that's the main, it's the, it's the starting point for me, man, yeah. being about New York, but transitioning into more new school sort of shit. Yeah, and it has yeah. the sound, using the same effect, same sound, but my own way, you know? Yeah, yeah. And for that new school shit, the homie just made us some beats for like mine and Jay Business's new album. So yeah, keep posting for that. It's gonna be crazy. Stay tuned. But yeah, what else? What else do you like? What about creative processes? Oh man, creative, yeah, creative process. process. Do you of have a certain process that you take? Of or course. Where um, do you even start? Usually, depending on how I wake up, of course, you know, everyone gets out of bed on a different lo- different note, but yeah, it's always starting from some form of sample, man. You know, I've got a basis of samples that I like. I've got a, you know, I find things every day. I could go in looking at a soundtrack, could get something out of that. Could go into a soul scene and get something out of that. It's, yeah, just, yeah, it's yeah. constantly, looking for that sound, looking for the next best, you know, piano loop, sample loop, synthesizer, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Taking bass, you know, out of certain things, filtering bass lines, all sorts of things, putting drums, again, the drums is usually the foundation. Yeah, yeah. Got what about records? Do you, where do you get, do you, are you always in record stores? Always in record stores, man. I, have, I go, sometimes I go on spurts, I go on, I go out of like a frenzy, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I go for a week long and just $2 Tell records. Where you go? Go to these stores or yeah, man, there's, man, there's plenty of places. You go around Newtown, Inner West, man, op shops, record shops. You know, you just keep your eye out. You, usually it's a vibe. You, you notice these places start to stand out to you, you know? Yeah, yeah. Go up King Street. I can't, you couldn't walk 10 meters on King Street without finding some records. So, yeah, if you're trying to make beats out there, get out there and have a You've got a turntable and you want to take samples, get to them record stores. Yeah. Newtown, you know where it's at. And that's just one place. You know, yeah, imagine yeah. all the other places in Sydney. Sydney's a big city. Sydney is a big city. There's a lot of, there's a lot of sources that you can yeah. get. You can sample anything. There's people out there that sample outside. There's people out there that sample nature. Sampling is more or less, it's an art, of course. Yeah, but that. we're talking right now. You can sample yeah. us talking. It's sound. Put, put that in the cell. Put that in exactly. the cell. Exactly. Oh, yeah. What drum machine do you use? At the moment, I'm using a machine. Nice. I started using a laptop with Fruity Loops. Yeah. My friend DJ Memo Surge from Peterson, he hooked me up with a DAW well, nice. probably about eight, six, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. Shout, Shout out to him. Me. He started me off. 
Um, yeah, and I just more or less started with that. Got a bit more serious. Bought a mixer, bought a turntable, saved up more money. Bought an MPC off, uh, I think it was eBay. And that's now, yeah, I just learned how to use that. I've watched millions of documentaries, millions of interviews with my favorite producers, learned their process, learned their weapon of choice. MPC stood out to me. Nice. So um, at, at the moment, I'm using the machine. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. So yeah, you've got, got a bit of gear here. How do you go through all your records? Like, your records are just in a pile. Yeah, at least, as you can see, That's crazy. That's crazy. crazy. Um, I just, man, I, I don't really categorize them. I don't really, I have my drums in one bit, but yeah, yeah. they're just everywhere, man. I don't really, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really a, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't yeah, really. I, I like to sort of just throw shit. It's there. You know what yeah. I mean? I use it, just and that's it. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's you see how you see how you do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's it can go from anywhere to a big mess to a calculated something that's calculated. Mm -hmm. So what point in time did you think that you're gonna take this serious, like this music? It's like oh, some man. it's a hobby, but then it's the definitely others, a hobby. You know? it, yeah, it started from being a hobby, just messing around. You know. And once I started, I don't like to say this, but once I started putting money into equipment, I kind of started taking it a bit more seriously because yeah, I thought that, you know, I spent the money, I took the time to do it, but I just, I started to, you know, I've, first of all, I noticed imperfections in my music. When I could hear those imperfections slowly being, I could fine tune them, yeah. people started giving me, oh, man, that sounds cool, and that's a boost. So again, I started to feel like I knew maybe around a year or two ago, man, you know, sure, and yeah. I started giving new music and also other people music and that's when I thought yeah I'm comfortable with showing people the music. Got any secrets that you want to tell anybody out there that could use little tips from, from your OT? Don't ever second guess yourself for a start. Don't doubt yourself. Anybody's ability is you, you're just as much as you put in. You what know about them hard kick drums you got? Oh, How do you course. even get them hard kick drums? Whoa, that's layering. You got to get, just say you get a break loop off a record, you might listen to the kick and think, well, that kick doesn't have enough balls yeah. behind it. Uh, I might go get another kick that sounds a bit harder. So from the same source, even yeah, a drum pad, up. and you layer it, you double it up so it sounds a bit more punchy. From there, you might get an EQ. Nice. Depending on how you do shit, you might compress it, whatever. Yeah, that's it. So if you're a beat maker out there, but you want a nice heavy kick, yeah. that's it. Double most, up, most, layer it. Most you can put an EQ on it, see how it sounds. Exactly. But yeah, we're going to get down to it right now. We've got OT. He's going to he's gonna make a beat for us. It's going to be crazy, I hope. I hope. My boy's going to do it for you. Hopefully we come up with something, man. Hopefully we come up with something dope. Nice. TJ Fridays with Tay Moses. Let's go do it. Bah! I don't really have actually any proper name for it. This is something I came up with. The sample's off the Delphonics, which is an old school sort of soul sort of group. Um, I've known about this sample for a while, but I could never really take it the proper way until a couple of days ago I found a proper approach to it. So I'll start off by showing you pretty much which is the sample. And this is the sample. <laughs> Pretty grimy sounding sample, it's something that's perfect for what I like to use. I kind of EQ'd it, which means you know I just sit different frequencies, opened up different sort of frequencies, and tried to manipulate the sound to make it sound as full as possible. The bass by itself is nothing really, it just sounds like this. Which sounds pretty shit by itself, but once it's combined with the sample. These are more or less. On this beat, instead of using like an 808 snare, I decided I might as well use a thicker snare because it's got such a thick sample. So this is what it sounds like, obviously, with the beat, with the drums, the which is only this. Which is at 138 BPM. It just gives it that rhythm, it gives it the motion. So all that together gives you this. some kind of significance to the chorus which is at the start it goes intro then chorus then verse so I thought I'll put symbols in there like a crash and then over that I'll take like some vocal samples and 
put like obviously a delay effect on that. So there it kind of gives more motion to the chorus again, more energy. drums to it it's not going to be that hard for me like I think so from there obviously I'll put the drums in yeah, it gives it that kind of motion that it's moving somewhere like it's you know from there I put in a tambourine sound Triangle. Is this to make it sound more full? Like there's more elements in the track than there actually are. And all these samples, they all come from vinyl, or they all come from the internet, or not necessarily downloaded in packs, but could have been taken from a YouTube sample, whatever. Just getting sounds from anywhere and everywhere. That's the hi hat, obviously. So then all these elements combine, bring you this beat. I lost the stems and the original sounds and everything in the laptop that was in. So that track was kind of laid in the, laid in, you know, wait until we came up for a proper beat for it, which sound pretty sweet. Just like to thank OT 
bringing us into his domain where he gets creative, telling us how he gets down. Oh yeah, thanks for that dude. Thank you, much obliged. Thanks for having us on the show. Nah, anytime. But yeah, one more thing, where can they find you? Find us on SoundCloud on the OT, or you can find us at an email, T-H-E-K-O-T at hotmail.com. We'll start on beats anywhere, all quality beats, starting from $50 onwards. Depends on what your, you know, your money is, whatever you want. It's going to try and, you know, do some quality for those who want to start at any level. Alongside that, if you want to get the music mastered, I've got, I've got ways to get it mastered. So if you want to put some music, uh, some money on top of it, sorry. You can do it that way, you can have your shit mastered from, you know, point one, like scratch straight away, your fucking track sounds dope. People that do it know what they do. But again, find us on SoundCloud on the OT, it's O dot T, and um, email if you need to get to us. I'm going to be on TGI Fridays involved with all that. Find us what up? upcoming tracks with, ta with uh, Tame Moses and JBs, all sorts of features and all sorts of that. So just stay tuned, man, if you can find me. So yeah, TGI Fridays with Tate Moses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>